subscribe to my channel is your girl Zoma Princess. So guys, this this is my roommate, my pretty roommate. So guys, I'm gonna be asking them some questions about school life and everything. So you get so if you're new to my channel, can you like and subscribe to my channel? If you're a returning viewer, please. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe now. What is this? Eh? Thank you so much. So let's get into the video. You have already seen the title already, so... Hey guys, I'm Elfida. Um, I'm in 300 level now. Just to put it down. So I'm not in 300 Hello guys, my name is Thoma. And I'm in 300 level. And I'm in 300 level. Two of us. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, I will be asking them some questions related to university life. How is your experience? Like, since it's kind of my first time entering, like, let me know some of the things, like, in the school, some of their experience and other stuff. So, the first question here is, I want to ask you people about your first experience in school. How was your first experience? Sorry. Um, why you should uh, identify it? Okay, so Efrida, how was what was your first experience like? Like, were you eager? Were you anxious? Were you happy? Like, tell us. You want to know? Okay, that first week when I did my uh, I was happy. Like after everything, like some of my first, my classmates from school were already doing their things. I was like, ah, what the hell? But that's something that finally. So my first day, my brother brought me. He showed me around, showed me that the parents were there because he entered the school before. So the second day I came on my day. Oh, the second day, hey, I had the question because I just found out stuff about the school, like my department, for instance. I heard that if you fail any course. I resume late, like, I don't even know what they were doing, they had already gone far, the whole thing just made me sad, like, I was, at some point, I even thought of the fire mask, which was, was to encourage me, like, okay, you know, like, don't worry, there's no need to be fast, since they've not started practical, they don't need to be fast, just continue to catch up, so, that's how it was, my first semester was so easy, it was clear and sad, um, buy books from that bookshop. Uh, first time you do it, especially when you don't know your way around. Okay, thank you very much, Ekuda. So, Shama, please share your first experience. All right. <laughs> Hi, guys. When I got my, when I first of all got my admission, I was actually very happy at first. I was very happy because. I actually finished school in 2017 and I was expecting to get admission then but due to some difficulties I couldn't get then at a point someone decided to sponsor me and I was very happy so when I got the admission into University of Peter Cotier I was, I was happy then at, at a point I became frightened because I'm not from this area and I don't know places around me so I was like since my mom is, my mom is not going to follow me to come and visit me I mean but my, I'm out of age so when I came here at first, I didn't even know where to start doing the registration from. I had to call one other girl in my department that I got a contact, contact from one of our group chats. So she was the one that helped me. She showed me a cyber and ICTC here inside school to do my registration and the rest. Now I'm not in So I was given environmental education at first. Then at a point when I went to do my physical clearance, she does what they call it, physical clearance. Then I thought that I wasn't, I was told that I wasn't eligible for the environmental education. And they put me in economics, so by then I had already written full notes in that environmental education. They put me in for me, for me economics to political science. Before I even got to find, like, meet my optional members, they had already written all the tests. I was able to write only one test, just one test. So it was actually very, it was very, very, like, so it was a very bad experience for me. Yes. 
I was expecting carryovers with my own, but to God be the glory, nothing wrong. Still working at the so that is nice. So the next question here is, okay, Efrida, the next question here is, how, how has lectures been going like from your first till now? Okay, so lectures, from lectures, I actually went when Ofuma, you know Ofuma now, mm. there is faculty of science. It's all the science courses that are coming together today. Just that we, pharmacy, we learn with our some of the words they are not really conducive, like we hear what they are saying. So some of us don't even bother going to class because, like, if you go to class, what will you gain after you get in? Also, fine, 200 level, uh, especially now that we are now in our faculty. So um, we get to hear everything. The lecturer is, the lecturers are doing fine. Yeah. And if you don't come to class, Okay, thank you very much. So, Choma, how have lectures been going? As my year one, I don't know how lectures went. Because I wasn't able to attend the normal class for my, for my courses. So, my year two, hmm, lectures went good. Lectures were going fine. Some lecturers were nice. Why some of them? You know, people be human beings. They have different characters. You know, um, some were nice. Some carry their family problem. Class. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was it was actually a nice experience. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. You attended lectures, bro. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys write your exams like? When exams come, like how do you guys prepare? Do you guys go for tutorial or you just read your textbook or something? Well, for my my year one. I went to the last one we did there because they don't really teach. You know, some lecturers will also compare you to the book. They will not teach you. Go and read this book. Go and read that book. So I attended tutorials. I used YouTube. Very helpful. So, so stuff I don't understand. I watch YouTube videos to explain them. And I also read my Make sure you cover the course outline and look for past questions so you know how the lecturer sets you for a question, what to, what to expect. Okay. So you go for tutorial, you read your test books, cover the course outline and ask questions. Thank you, Suchoma. Okay, as for the lecture aspects, Normally, everybody has um, things that work for them. So people go to class when they have got something they need to leave. Me, I'm not the kind of person that go to class to teach me something. If you enter one year, apply from that year. <laughs> so I take my notes seriously. So um, the lecture aspect doesn't affect me like that. As long as I have the course outline. Mm. The problem I had in my year one was that I didn't have, I wasn't able to get to lay my hands on the course outline. So that was why it was hard for me somehow. Not even about the lecture aspect, not the same thing. So for this year two period that I just that just went that we just finished, I had the course outlines. I even made the notes for myself. Yeah, very good. Thank you. So all those tutorials and um, online stuff mm -hmm. doesn't yes. work out for me. It's just my notes, my notes. I don't play my notes. Okay. Just so thank you very much. So the next question here is, what do you love about this University of Papakot, this our school? What do you love about it? Oh, what do I love? Ah, I've never actually thought about this before. I swear, because it's all this stress, stress, stress that I'm using. I've not actually come down to look at what I love about the university. To other schools to compare, so I don't really know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. So tell me, you what do you love? Mm, with the news I get from with things happening in other schools, the news I hear 
about things that happen in those schools. I think I think the uh, University of Portaport is actually a perfect school for anybody to like enroll their child and be free from uh, um, having thoughts of or um, any form of harm happening to your child, as long as your child doesn't leave the school premises and your child is inside the school. Because ever since I came here, I walked through here around the school premises. Nobody has ever stopped, nobody has ever collected my phone or something like that. Kind of. So the security system is actually very nice. They should be stop much. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much. So what was your worst experience in this school? Like, what was your worst experience? Worst experience was... In year one, no, 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 I don't know anything. In year one, my medical clearance, like, I mean, if you're going to do any clearance or any, just try and get the complete information because you're going to be very stressed. I went there early in the morning, people that came with me, like, I left with the TV because I did not have, either I did not have this, I did not do that. Okay, so my worst experience in university so far was in my when I was doing my medical class for year one. I didn't carry the complete documents I needed, like passport and stuff, just the medical form. I think what based on what I can forget. So the thing never asked me of carrying going to search for this and search for that. I left there very late because of that. So next time, if you're going for any clearance, if you're going for any class or so, make sure that you're going to form and you're carrying to complete documents so that doing everything will be easy for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So Choma, what was your worst experience? Um, she's very right with what she said. Just is like you need to be well informed before you start doing any form of clearance. Mm -hmm. People ask for direction. So, so I think know. I think that is the reason why why the registration process was like tough for me. Mm -hmm. I think so. Especially the medical two weeks. <laughs> Not it's three weeks. I did medical. Mm -hmm. just three weeks. In my own search three was weeks. more organized. Okay. Yes, it was not. I use one day. She's just two weeks. Just by, I think it's by luck. My own too was one day. Mm -hmm. It was more organized than our own side. That's what I noticed. Because mm -hmm. my brother's experience was in this. Needs to fight to do that. Okay. Thing. So thank you very much for answering the questions and thank you for giving me your time. You're not telling your questions. Okay. And I forgot. Mm. Oh, my worst experience was that strike period. Okay. We are used to 20 sets. So, <laughs> wait, calm down. I was happy at the that day. When I said, at a point, after writing our first semester in result, uh, in exam, we asked to go for this uh, education or whatever, that like, we come back again. From there, I had to stay at home for 10 weeks. 14 months. Sorry, am I saying weeks? 14 months. This is one disadvantage of going to federal school. 14 months. Guys, Jesus. 14 months. So, like, at, at a point, I even became, mm. what they even call it? Frustrated. I became time. frustrated. Like, I was depressed. So, well, I, I strike well. I used to learn something. Well, I didn't stay as long as she did because. Although I learned something, but why I did not learn the stuff earlier, why I didn't um, engage into any stuff earlier was because at the point they would say we open a social yeah, subject that day you wait, you not know, say okay, let me not go and waste my money and pay for a particular thing. Then you know, when you now wait, you know, you see this thing. That was what they need to like waste my money. I don't know. Forget apart from strike. Mm -hmm. I don't think I advise anyone to go to a federal school after. For me. Going to a federal school is nice, especially in the port. At least the school is top notch and very, very nice. Everything is there. But it's just the stock. I need to. God will help us that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Thanks for giving me your time. So, can you like and subscribe to this channel? Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Peace.